to pour on us. So why are we out yelling and screaming about the white man? And we giving Israelite passes for all the great evil and them not following the source of their problems based on what? Repentance. Repentance. You want to, uh, excuse me, I said source, remedy of their problems based on them repenting. It's been about repentance all along. Mm -hmm. The law was added because of what? Our wickedness, our transgression. It was added to give us a guide to get back right in the right mind and deal with the most high righteously. That's why it was added. So now, the answer to the question and what Ezra said, listen, you made the world for us, but nothing is over us. And, and we have this world that was made for us, but we have no inheritance in it. We have no power in it. And it's the reason is, is because what? Let's deal with something. He said in verse 11. Um, yeah, all Israel have transgressed exactly, thy right. law, mm -hmm. even by the party, uh -huh. that they may not obey thy voice. Uh -huh. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. Read verse 12 again. And he has confirmed his words, mm -hmm. which he spake against us, and against our judges that judge us, by bringing upon us a great evil. Mm -hmm. For under the whole heaven has not been done, as has been done upon Jerusalem. Read 13. As it is written in the law of Moses. As it is written before Daniel was speaking here, in the law of Moses, read on. All this evil is come upon us. Yet made we not our prayer before the Lord our God that we might turn from our iniquities and understand thy truth. So even though we went through this thing and we continue to go to this thing, we will not repent. We won't repent in the name of the Lord Christ. We out teaching hate the white man. Hell, these brothers that's out there teaching this madness, if I can't use the word brothers, they not even mentioning the fact that we are the cause of our own demise. And that we need and to that turn we from need, our iniquities. We need to turn from our iniquities through repentance in Christ. They are oh, no, I just hate the white women. And the black woman is a B-I-T-C-H. <laughs> that's our, you know, our problem is the black woman. Yeah. Right? When we the or the heads. white man. Or we don't know the truth because the truth is what I say it is. You know, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. But that's what I say it is. When they're not dealing with what? Teaching our people that they have great iniquities that they have to turn from. And the only way you can turn from it is through what Christ simply came out and said. The kingdom is at hand. And what do we have to do? Repent. Repent. And believe in the gospel. Thank you. Not what man is pushing or teaching or what sounds inviting. Hell, one of the attractions that I had to start dealing in Israel was the hate the white man doctrine. Because now... I ended up understanding that I had things in me about what? The white man, the brother man, the brother woman, or the woman, the black woman, that I had to reconcile that wasn't quite what? Right. In the eyes of the Most High. I had to learn to turn from my iniquities, understand what really mattered, and start to deal right in the understanding that Christ was dealing with. And it's been the same from the beginning. Repentance, 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 only through repentance are we going to get solutions to our problems. Exactly. Because the problem is not the white man, it ain't the government, it ain't the Illuminati, it ain't the Rothschilds, it ain't uh, the banking system, it ain't the powers that be. The problem is with Israel. So it's not the white man, it's us. It because who rebelled? Man. We did. No, this is white man made us do that. No, we rebelled. No, 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 the African, the Ethiopian did it. Because you know the Ethiopian going down and in, right? Yeah. The white man going down Babylon going fall. Right? But now, <laughs> if we don't repent, guess who's going to be falling right with it? We're going to be right, whoever's not repenting is going to be right along with him. Exactly. So now, this is the understanding that Christ was bringing to us, according to thus saith the Lord. The same thing that Daniel said. But now, the thing is, I want to deal with something real quick because he said that all these things came on us that were written in the book of the law of Moses, right? Mm -hmm. So now, I thought it was the white man that the reason we ended up, oh, see, he put us on slave ships and brought us over to America and slowed us in slavery. Why are we in that condition? Why is nothing uh, 
the abundance of all nations is like what? A drop as dropped from a vessel, a drip. Why is that those that's less than nothing, nothing? Why is it even given the power to do that? Once again, we have to look at ourselves to understand. Alright? So now, let's look at something here. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28. Read verse 1, jump down to 15, and then we're going to go to 6, uh, um, real quick, 45 to 48. Deuteronomy 1, 28 and 1. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. Right. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt not hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So now, wait a minute. If we would have did right and hearken unto the voice, would we be uh, having nothing rule over us? No, no. Let me read that one more time. Go ahead. Because I think I read it wrong. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So Moses said, if we listen diligently, hearken, and did the commandments as it was commanded of us, we would be on high. Yeah. Remember, on Ezra top. was talking about, well, if you made all this for us, why are we on the bottom? Yeah. Why is nothing in rulership over us and become lords over us? So wait a minute, something happened. Because exactly. this was our answer to not even be having this discussion, right? Mm -hmm. Is it the white man or us? So the understanding was given about what we needed to do to sustain our top notch right, position on the earth planet, right? To be on top. Right, so read verse 15 though. Verse 15. But it, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. We, uh, so now, if we, not, if we didn't hearken, that we would be what? In a cursed condition. Yeah, these curses would, co would come upon us and right. overtake us. And some of those curses that we're dealing with, specifically with these nations being over us, we're going to go read a few of them. Mm -hmm. Go down to Deuteronomy 28. Let's read, start at verse 64. Verse 64. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. Mm -hmm. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Read on. And among, and among these nations, shall thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy feet have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, a fainting, a failing of eyes, and a sorrow of mind. Read on. And thy life shall hang in, the, in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have no assurance of thy life. So now, the condition that we in, because we fell under the rule of the other nations, based on our rebellion, like what Daniel said, mm -hmm. this curse, this is the confer, curse that was confirmed in the book of Moses that was written about us, what would happen. So Daniel said, this only happened to us because we did what? Rebelled, disobeyed, and went against everything the Most High told us that was right to do. Exactly. That's why we in this condition, not because of the white man, not because of the yellow man, not because of any other man, but it was us that didn't deal with what the Lord. But I know people will hear and see this and not understand and go, yeah, yeah, that's true, but yeah. he going down. What the hell does that matter? Because, yeah, all nations in the end that don't serve this kingdom in righteousness yeah. are going down because Daniel 60 tells us that, right? I mean, excuse me, Isaiah, the 60th chapter tells us that, right? More importantly, we're going to go down if exactly. we don't serve and obey and exactly. do the will of the what we got to worry about is, is how we're going to deliver ourselves. Exactly, exactly. And the only way we can deliver ourselves is what Daniel said that we needed to do that we weren't doing. Not by getting guns or knives. Exactly. Or, the only way we're going to deliver ourselves is by being obedient. And repenting in the name of our Lord and Savior Christ. Jesus Christ. Period. That's it. Period. End of story. Now, 
Let's look at.